What's up, brother? So this is your brother, GWorld7 underscore D. Like in all my videos, I want you to pay attention. I always talk about pay attention to detail and break down the detail. You need to look at everything when you do your research and when you study your history. But most of us are not taught that. We're just taught to just take what is given to us by some of these so-called writers and don't even challenge what they're saying. Don't even challenge some of these stupid teachers, man. Professors, when they just continue to lie. And no matter what color they are, they're, they're lying. <clears throat> so, I'm going to turn to page 222. I want you to pay attention, because I'm going to try to break this down easily. This is going to be a quick video, 222. Alright? Here we are. We got this great state of Alabama. Alright? Great state of Alabama. State symbols. Flag. Alright, we got the great state of Alabama. Alright, I want you, I'm going to read something to you. I want you to pick up on it. Alright, I'm going to try to read it from my phone. Sometimes, many times it's hard to do that. Now, check this out. People of Alabama, early inhabitants of the region were prehistoric Indians known as mound builders. <laughs> the first European settlers found the area occupied by four of the five civilized tribes of Native Americans, Aboriginal blacks, Chickasaw, Choctaw, Cherokee, and the Cree. The Seminoles lived in Florida. The Alabama, or the or Ali Bamu, were part of the Creek Confederacy now. The Chickasaw were the most peaceful people. The Creek, the more warlike. Beginning in 1805, all the tribes but the Creek began ceding their land to the United States. The Creek resisted white settlement until their power was crushed in 1814 by General Andrew Jackson in the Battle of Horseshoe Bend on the Tallapoosa River. By 1839, all the major bands of Native Americans had moved west of the Mississippi River. All right. And it goes on right here. Alabama was settled chiefly by people from Georgia, the Carolinas, and the eastern states. It has attracted few immigrants from abroad. But I want you to go back. Now, look at this word. Ali. 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 Bamu. Ali. That's Ali. A L I. That's Ali. <laughs> Ali, <laughs> or right here, Allah, Allah, Alabama, Allah, Allah, <laughs> that's Allah, Allah, Ali, Allah, Ali, <laughs> and you know, and, man, and like I said, notice it said, the first the early inhabitants of the region were the prehistoric Indians known as the Mound Builders. And I talked about the Mound Builders in my previous post as being Negroes. They had the Chickasaw, the Choctaw, the Cherokee, and the Creek. All right? The Chickasaw, the Choctaw, the Cherokee, and the Creek. Go back to this book, A Natural History of East and West Florida. Page 122. Page 122. We get right here the Chickasaw. I showed this before numerous of times. Notice the little feather on top of his head, like the image of my eye. You see the image of my eye. You see the feather. This is obviously a so-called Negro. All right, this is a Negro. All right, this is a Chickasaw head. All right. Then we want to go to Choctaw. All right. Now I showed this over and over again. I showed this before several times, but I want to make my point. Look at this. Quest be a Negro. Choctaw. All right. And then we will go to the creek.
metal headband or something over the head. Big loop earrings. It looked like one of the little, it could be, I can't really tell, one of the little neck beads or something. I can't really tell on this. But, go back, read this. Yes, I'm going to get the focus. Okay. Talks about the mound builders. Okay, here it is, the focus. Early inhabitants of the region were the prehistoric Indians known as the mound builders. The five civilized tribes of Native Americans aboriginals were the Chickasaw, the Choctaw, the Cherokee, and the Creek. The Seminoles lived in Florida. Now, I, I have all the pictures but the Cherokee, but I have a picture of a Cherokee, the original Cherokee. It was unquestionably a black man with a turban on his head. <laughs> then I had another picture of a, a Cherokee. He was a Muslim. And I forgot the brother name, man, offhand, but it, it's a picture of as he was a Muslim. I think his name was Ali, too, or something like, or Muhammad. <laughs> I tell people over and over again. You had Aboriginal blacks here, and many of them were Muslim. Many of them were Hebrews. But when you hear about Alabama, you hear about some slave ship, the Catilda. That is the biggest lie and insult. They, they, they come up with this slave ship so they can continue with their damn narrative. I'm not saying that no slaves weren't brought here, but the fact is the majority of our people are already here. I'm, prov I'm proving to you again that these Indians here were black. And these were your ancestors. And this is in an encyclopedia book written by white folks. So this is not no Afrocentric Negro talk. All right? This information right from your face, but you got to research it. Even with the damn flag, man. Even with this damn flag. You see that? Go back to Nature Knows No Color Line. I've shown this book numerous of times. Go back to Nature Knows No Color Line. Look at that shield. A coat of arms. You see a Catholic or a Pope hat. You see the brother with the crown. And you see the shield in the middle with the X. You got the Alabama, one of the Alabama flags with an X. Man, let me tell you something. All this stuff was stolen from us, man. Black people traveled around the world. We've been here. This is our land. I want us to understand that. But we're being fed information about now it's the Catilda ship, the last slave ship that came over here illegally. <laughs> Whatever. And that's that shows another group of blacks who have come over here illegally. But the blacks that I showed you were aboriginal to this land. And these were the blacks who many of them, when they, when they were captured, they were a, go, a force against their will. The five civilized tribes were Negroes. Let's get this clear. But you get a lot of these Pan-Africans. Well, Indians owned black people slaves. And it was a five civilized tribe. The five civilized tribes were all originally Negroes. The Chickasaw, the Chickasaw, the Choctaw, the Creek, the Cherokee, the Seminoles. These were originally Negroes. Period. Mm -hmm. Stop Listen to people giving you misinformation The information is in front of your face But like I said before I had an upper hand in this like Even in the, the name Alabama Alabama Allah 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 This stuff is in your face man this is in your face. This is our history. We got to stop listening to people like Umar Johnson, people like Sarah Sudan Seti, people like these Amara Squad. They're idiots, man. <laughs> They're idiots. Because <laughs> they don't know their true history and they miseducating our people and half them clowns up in New York City lying. <laughs> so I'm giving you, your history is in your face, man. But you're going to have to do the research and study. I, I'm glad I had educators in my family who taught.
told me to do the research and to dig for our history and to really dig for our history. Because if you don't dig for our history, it's just like this story of um, Osiris. The story, there's many different versions of Osiris, Seth, his uh, brother Seth, Set, and, um, and dealing with his son, the younger Horus, and the wife, Isis, Osset. Whereas that Set cut up the body of Osiris and, and threw the various different pieces in different spots. Well, that's how our history is. Our history has been chopped up and it's been broken off in different pieces. It's for us to reassemble it back together again. We need to reassemble our history because it's been chopped up, carved up, and it's basically been represented as a, just a, basic, a, a structured lie that these white folks have done and other people. So just not them. And certain Negroes continue to go along with this lie. So I'm basically giving this information, just letting you know this. It's right in your face, man. It's right in your face. Your history is right in your face. Peace and love, brothers and sisters. I'm going to try to do another video.